Hi, I'm Tabitha and I'm going to talk to you guys today about the Victorian x-ray machine. This wooden machine here is actually the part that makes the electricity. It's called a static generator. And how it works is there's a wheel in the back that let's say a servant would turn for the doctor. And then this big sort of glass plates in here would turn and create static electricity. And then you'd actually see the electricity going between these two brass balls. And you can imagine how scared people would be in the Victorian period to see a bolt of lightning. They didn't understand electricity at all. And uh, so this part here is actually the x-ray. It's not the whole machine. People misunderstand that part. This glass bulb here is the x-ray. It was used for diagnostic imaging, just like today. You know, that means taking a look at uh, what's going on inside. And it was actually a real-time image they would use a scope called the fluoroscope and they would look through it, the patient would be in the middle, you would have the doctor on the one side looking through the scope into the person's innards and then you would have this machine and the light bulb on the other side. And so you'd be able to see, in the beginning it was pretty primitive, you'd just see stuff like a bullet or something like that or a, a serious break. But uh, it wasn't just used for diagnostic imaging, it was also used for treatment. This young lady, she's having acne treated. And you can see basically she would have come three times a week probably to get radiation to her face. And uh, people didn't understand how dangerous that was at the time. Nowadays we know that we have to cover up when we're having an x-ray done or any kind of radiation because uh, people use radiation today for cancer treatment. So this machine was not only used for x-ray, it was also used for something we call electrotherapy. And electrotherapy was basically just treating medical illness with electricity. And we still kind of use that today in physiotherapy. And so basically you could attach a number of different things to the electricity source. For example, these brass implements back here. This roller was actually used for static massage. Uh, it would have been rolled on the person, or you can see some of these balls and whatnot when the person's laying over the examination table. This crown here um, that the lady is demonstrating is actually used for an effect they called static breeze. And so basically she would sort of feel that electricity, static electricity feeling sort of coming down. All right, so that's just sort of a little rundown about uh, the static generator and how it was used to do x-rays in the Victorian period. And uh, if you want to learn more, you can come down and look at the whole exhibit here on x-ray and electrotherapy. It's a really underappreciated room. A lot of people sort of pass by. So come on in and uh, we'll have some fun.